Christ community family and friends, I want to introduce myself. I'm Reverend Chris Jordan. It is my prayer that the Lord has given you vision and a clear direction on where he wants you to step or maybe already stepped into this new year, getting ready and fulfilling both the purpose and the plan for your life. The devotional topic is the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. If you have your Bibles, tablets, or phones there with you, I would like for you to open them up to this very familiar chapter in the book of Matthew, chapter 9, verses 35 through 38. And starting there at verse 35, it reads, Jesus went through all the towns and the villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and the healing of every disease and sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were harsh, that they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. In being brief, here we find that our Lord Jesus, with his disciples, traveling through all of the big cities in the suburbs, going through their churches, preaching, and note, while doing this, he's also healing folks of every disease that they're facing. He's putting some work in. In his schedule, he's physically traveling. In our travels, it takes some planning. Then Matthew goes on to tell us that the Lord here is teaching. But not only is, here, is he teaching, but he's also preaching the good news. Look at the work that Jesus is continuing to put in here. So not only is Jesus working on his scheduling and his travel plan, but he's also developing his lesson plans. So when he steps into these towns, he knows without a doubt the good news that he's being preached will be effective and good food and nourishment for all those receiving his words. Continuing there, Matthew tells us that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is also healing every disease and sickness. Here in the verse we find that there is no ailment that anyone in which Jesus confront that he can't heal from cancer, diabetes, alcohol, sexual addictions, menstrual cycles. There is nothing that Jesus can't heal. In the scripture, Matthew documents that Jesus is healing every disease and sickness. Footnote here, Jesus put in about 30 works before he started his earthly ministry, 30 years before he started his earthly ministry and knew without a doubt that he was prepared to do the work in his teaching and his preaching and his healing. So the Lord is, what is the Lord inviting us to do? There in our verse, Matthew chapter nine, verse 37, Jesus clearly states that the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. We're here in a new year of 2024. Jesus is looking for those workers to take on the harvest of this new year, which is going to bring. This year is going to present itself just as years of our past, plenty of situations. The harvest which Jesus is speaking to all of us, but unfortunately, some of us are going to ignore those who are around us in need by looking away, doing nothing, just hoping that the situation will manifest by healing and fixing itself. That, that it, it, it'll just simply go away. We're not going to lift a finger and putting in the work into that situation. Most sadly is that some of these situations are going to be occurring even in our own lives. And even in our own selfish expectation, we are going to expect that the Lord Jesus will handle it. But my brothers and sisters, he's calling each and every one of us to step up and get into the game. Stop being a spectator being on the bleaches. Stop sitting in the pews. Stop sitting on the bench and step up to the plate and become a worker and work throughout those situations that the harvest that we witness, the plentiful blessings that are going to come to you in the crops that are about to manifest itself in 2024. So as I close, church family, 
in your journey, you are going to be required to work. And without work, no harvest is going to bear good fruit. Shall we pray? Father God, we just come to you in the word of prayer to give you thanks for just being with us uh, throughout this past year, Father God, and then stepping into a new season. Father God, we just pray that you just be with us in our harvest, Father God. Just be with us in the fields, Father God. Give us encouragement, Father God. Don't allow us to be afraid to do the work that you have set before us. Give us the strength, the energy, and the encouragement, Father God, to press forth in 2024 and not sit on the sideline, but be a worker for you and let our harvest be plentiful. And yes, son, in Jesus' name, we all pray. Amen. Amen.